Hello, welcome to Amazon Open Search YouTube channel. My name is Aneri Modi, and I'm a solutions architect in the public sector team at Amazon Web Services. In today's video, we will deep dive into building a search application with Amazon Open Search Serverless. Amazon Open Search Serverless is a serverless option for Amazon Open Search Service, and it makes it easy to run search and analytical workloads without managing cluster. It automatically provisions and scales the underlying resources based on your search traffic demands and lets you focus on building your application rather than worrying about infrastructure. Open Search Serverless is powered by the open source Open Search project and it provides a search engine for your data and open search dashboards, which you can use for visualization and analysis. Now, there are many ways to build a search application. In our example, we create a simple JavaScript function and call Amazon API Gateway, which would trigger an AWS Lambda function upon receiving the user queries. Now, as shown in the following diagram, API Gateway acts as a broker between the front end and the open source serverless collection. So when the user queries the front end web page, API Gateway passes requests to the Python Lambda function, which in turn returns the query on the open source serverless collection and then returns the search results. Now, all the code samples shown today, including the Lambda function, bulk API command, and the front-end code will be available in the video description for you to download and use. So let's get started and build our search application with Amazon Open Search Serverless Service. OK, so I've logged in into my AWS console. And the first step which we need to do is create an Open Search Serverless collection. A collection is a logical grouping of one or more indexes that represent a workload. So navigate to Amazon Open Search Service Console and under Serverless, click on Collections. Click on Create Collection. And let's go ahead and fill out these details. For the collection names, let's go ahead and name it Movie Search. You can add any description you'd like. Now, since we are building out a search application, for the collection type, we'll be using the option search. For security, click on standard create. With standard create, we can configure our own network policy and data access policies. For encryption, select the AWS owned key. For network access setting, select access collection from public and make sure that you have enabled access to open search dashboards. Click on Next, and now let's go ahead and create a data access policy. So under Principles, select Add Principles, and you can select any IAM user or role which you're using to log in into this AWS account. So I'm going to select my IAM role here, and I'm going to grant it permission for index and alias and template permission. Click on Next. And let's name this policy as user policy. Click on next. Let's go ahead and click on submit. And wait till your collection is in the active state. Our movie search collection is active now. After our collection is active, we will ingest movie data to an index. Each document here would represent a movie with fields such as directors, actors, plot, and release date. So let's log in into your open search dashboard. Navigate to DevTools. And let's go ahead and create movies index using the put API. So we have created our index now. The next step is to ingest our data using the bulk API. So let's go ahead and use the bulk API. I've attached the bulk data file to the video description and it is adjacent file of the movie data. So you can use the same file and use the bulk API to ingest the movie records. So I've copy pasted all the records right here. And let's go ahead and run this API. So as you can see, the data is ingested now and you have successfully created a movie index and ingested about 1500 records to this index now we are going to integrate this movie catalog within our search application. And just to give you a quick overview of what this index looks like, so you can see that it has fields such as directors, 
release date, ratings, plot, title, and actors. So now that we have our data, let's create a Lambda function which will query our open search collection. AWS Lambda is a serverless compute service that lets you run code without provisioning or managing servers. So to create your function, navigate to the Lambda console, click on create function. Let's name this function as open search function. Choose runtime as Python 3.9, architecture x86, and keep all other default options and choose create function. Now for this function, we'll be using a sample deployment packet zip file, which is attached in the video description. It contains the entire code which is used to build out the search application. Select upload from, select zip file, and select the my deployment package.zip folder. Click on save, and you can see all the files have been uploaded here. The file which we'll be primarily working with is the open search lambda.python file. So this is how the file looks like. Before we deep dive into the file, let's just change the handler name. So navigate to runtime settings, click on edit, and right here we'll be changing the handler name. Handler is a method in our function code which processes events. And here we'll be changing the handler name similar to our Python file. So let's rename this to open search dash lambda dot lambda underscore handler. So this is how your new handler name should look like. Click on save. And now let's go ahead and look into our Python code. So before we deep dive into the Lambda function, let's go ahead and add some of the values here. So in the region, I'm going to add US East one as that's the region where I've deployed my workload. You can add any other region if you are using that. For service, let's go ahead and add AOSs, which is Amazon Open Search Service. And then for host name, let's copy paste the collection which we created. So you can get that within your collection console and you can select open search endpoint, copy that and paste that in the host. And in the index, let's go ahead and add movie search index since that is the one which we created. Now, looking at this function, this Lambda function is acting as a bridge between the API gateway and the Amazon open search serverless. It authenticates to open search using AWS IAM credential. And then the function is processing search queries against our open search collection. So if you look here, we have specified the host and the index which we need our function to query against. And then right here, you can see that we are using the query which is multi-match. So the multi-match query here, it is searching for the same text across multiple fields such as title, plot, and actors which is eliminating the need for separate queries for each field. The results are then automatically ranked by the relevant score with matches in multiple field or exact matches. And at the end, the function is returning standardized API response with proper course headings for web integration. So right here, we are using the query multi-match, but if you would like to use any other queries within the open search APIs, you can use that. Now that we have deep dived into our Lambda function, let's go ahead and configure some of the permissions. So the next step here is configuring permissions. Our Lambda function needs permission to access the open search collection. So go to configuration within your Lambda function, click on permissions, open the Amazon open search service, go to your data access policy. So we called it user policy, click on edit, Click on add principles, I am user and roles, and add the Lambda role right here. Click on save and save. So now Lambda has the permission to access our open search collection. Now go back to your IAM console and under access man management, click on policies. Click on create policy. So in the policy editor, select a service. Choose Amazon Open Search Serverless. For actions, click on Right. Select API Access All Action. For ARN, click on Specific 
and click on add ERN and right here add your collection ERN and click on add. Click on next. Let's name this policy Lambda Open Search Policy. Click on create policy. Now go to, go to your Lambda role. Copy the ARN of your Lambda role. Go to Lambda role. And let's go ahead and add the policy which we just created. So click on attach policies. We called it Lambda Open Search Policy. Select that policy and add that. Again, this policy is giving Lambda access to APIs for Amazon Open Search Serverless. Now that we have configured the policy, let's go ahead and create our API gateway. Amazon API Gateway is a fully managed service that makes it easy for developers to create, publish, maintain, monitor, and secure APIs at any scale. These APIs act as a front door for application to access data, business logic, or functionality from your backend services. Here, the API Gateway will act as a front door for our application to access the Lambda. Using API Gateway, we'll create API and simplify the process of interacting with the open search search API. So let's navigate to the API Gateway service. Click on Create API. Select REST API. Let's name this API as OpenSearch-API. You can add any description you would like. For the endpoint, select Regional and click on Create API. Now click on Create Method. Select method type as Get. Integration type is Lambda function. Enable the Lambda proxy integration, which means that the request would be sent to our Lambda function. For Lambda function, select the open search function, which we created, and keep the default settings for timeout. Now, under method request settings, keep authorization as none. For request validator, select validate body, query string parameters, and headers. So this means that we are using the query string parameters and headers and verifying the information provided. And we are conforming to the predefined rules and expectations. For query string parameter, click on add query string, name it Q, and enable the required option, and click on create method. Now click on deploy API, select the stage as new stage, and let's go ahead and name this stage as open search dash API dash test. Click on deploy. Now go ahead and click on edit and enable throttling. Change the rate to 2000 and burst to 500. Click on continue. And this means that your throttle rate is around 1000 requests per second and your throttle burst is 500 requests. So go ahead and click on save. So we have created an API with get method and we have an API gateway endpoint. So this request would require a single parameter, which is Q, the query string to search for. And when called, the method would pass the request to Lambda function, which is running the open search function. So now let's go ahead and build our front end. All right, so now let's build out our front end. So for our front end, we'll use a simple HTML page with JavaScript. I've attached a sample site folders in the video description, which consists of HTML, JavaScript, and CSS scripts. And the key part is updating the API endpoint in our JavaScript. So go ahead and copy the invoke URL in the API Gateway console and open the JavaScript file. So in the beginning, there should be the variable, which is API Gateway endpoint. Go ahead and paste the API Gateway endpoint here and make sure that it ends with a slash. And save this file. So essentially, we have created a search interface which would send queries to the API Gateway and ultimately it triggers the Lambda function to search for open search and returning results. Now, let's go ahead and test our application. So we'll be using the simple HTML page to open our website. So open the HTML page from the sample site folder and you'll notice this is how the HTML page looks like. There's a title called Movie Search with a search button. Now let's test our application by looking for Harry Potter. So I'll search for Harry Potter. And I got about 16 results here. So you can see that the results here are ranked by re relevance. So you have 
uh, Harry Potter in the title. Um, and then you can also see those words in the plot as well. So the documents with matching terms in both the title and the plot, they would be appearing higher than the matches with only in the title. So as you can see that, you know, at the end, the relevancy is decreasing in terms of matching in both title and plot. So since we are using the multi-match query underneath our Lambda function. So yeah, this is how you can build your search application using open search. Just to reiterate, we use the multi-match query in the Lambda function, but you can use as many as search queries which you would like and build out your search application. Congratulations, you have built a complete search application powered by OpenSearch Serverless. This approach gives you powerful search capabilities without the operational overhead of managing clusters. To learn more, check out our documentation and the OpenSearch Serverless blog, which is linked in the description. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you're building search application, we'd love to hear about your experience in the comments. Happy building with AWS.